hey guys in this video we'll learn how to set up your ansible as a deployment tool so this will be our the, this will be the last installation what we'll be doing it so the agenda will be to just uh, to set up ansible i mean in terms of uh, your installation post that we have to mention the ip of ips of our tomcat server in host list so once this is done then we have to check the connection then first we have to then enable ssh between your ansible and tomcat then we'll check the connection we also have to write one sample playbook which we'll be using to deploy the artifacts which is built by jenkins so these things will be seen in your ansible installation so let's see if our machine is up and running now yeah machine is good let me copy the ip address let's go here and let's log in so unlike other installations of jenkins or tomcat your ansible is not based on java you don't need any java installation for this the thing is that your system should be having python installed in it so that your ansible will be able to connect to the host machine so login as ubuntu let me do some changes here so that you will be able to see easily system color and font size changes since this machine is already updated we don't need to ex explicitly mention and update this again but i have to update the software properties here so the command will be sudo app get you can mention get or you can omit it also app get install what to install software properties command so this is a required file you have to you have to download and install whenever you are using for ansible remember we have done it for tomcat as well app.common so i feel this is correct yeah this is sudo apt install software slash properties dot no no if it is dot or this thing so it's fine so this has been it's not dot it's a hyphen so your installation has been done for your software properties common which will be like bringing up on the latest models which your ansible is not ansible your uh, Ubuntu machine will be having. Well, the next step is to add repository for your Ansible. So the command is sudo apt add then repository. Just take care of the spelling mistakes. If you do some spelling mistakes here, you have to type it again. PPA in comes your Ansible and slash Ansible. I hope that it's fine. Let's try to test this. Oh yeah, it is fine. So now you are adding your Ansible repository. So once your Ansible repository, that is Ansible infrastructure, this I mean, your Ansible will run on this infrastructure only. If you are not installing your repository, your Ansible won't run. So now it's done. Now let's update the repository. So the command is sudo app get update. So this will update the real repositories of Ubuntu. Now you have to install Ansible sudo app you are using app module here so because in ubuntu you have to add use only app module not yum module install ansible it should be good and your ansible is getting installed in your machine you don't have to do anything so your ansible needs to connect to the host machine your destination machine and the connection is done through ssh so you have to probably go there and set up your nodes and to get the connection you need to also install python package there so we'll go in tomcat server and we'll install python there you know some virtual machine or will already have python installed in it that's okay i will check and we'll update if python is not there so just go to this server i think this is already here let can it be progress let me restart the session yep it is getting re session has been restarted now what you can do you can just download the package sudo app get 
install python so in this way your python will be installed now your uh, ansible will be able to communicate to communi not only communicate it has to implement your ansible playbook changes right so it is a basic setup you have to do now the next thing what you have to do we have to add the tomcat nodes in our node file so for that just be root user sudo as su now you are root and now go to cd etc etc and yeah, you will find ansible folder here come on your ansible should be here let me exit oh my bad i am just doing this thing in tomcat you have to go here you have to be sudo as your root user then go to cd etc then ansible and in, inside ansible you will be having file we call host so inside host you need to update the value of your tomcat server as your host so your ansible will connect to host whatever you want to do the changes in your host you can do through ansible and uh, we have to write all those modules in the playbook and that playbook will connect to the host and it will bring the automation there so go to the end of the file sif g skip enter now i'll be setting up one group which we call it web server now this is a group inside group you can add n number of ip address or n number of instances you want to add right now we have only one instance so either you can just write your instance name or you can just group it so the ip address is this thing so we just need to put the ip address here and that's it your node has been set your ansible will recognize your node now so this is web server now what you have to do you have to enable ssh connection between those two these machines your tomcat machine and your ansible so the motto is like your ansible should be able to connect to your tomcat machine in order to implement all the playbooks it has formed for your tomcat so for that you have to go to dot ssh folder and copy the key here so authorized keys are there so this is our which ansible all right so if you try to ssh right it won't happen i will just give you one demonstration so that you will see what is the difference between ssh and the non ssh thing so ideally it sh there should not be asking of any password so basically we are enabling your password or keyless infrastructure if you do ssh and you can also see there is known host folder here there is only one file which is authorized keys if but there is no other files if you do this ssh thing then what your machine will tell here like it will ask you whether it's a known host to you if you says yes then what it will do it will just copy your ip address and it will encrypt it and put it in your known host so i will just pr press enter remember guys this will show through an error because our ssh connection is not met i'm just testing it before it so that i can differentiate you between your ssh and non ssh it shows yes you want to connecting yes it will not connect it shows permission denied now your it is your ip address this one has been added to the known host if you do ls minus ltr you'll find known host if you do vi known host you'll find the key so this is nothing but your ip address which has been encrypted so what do you go now you have to generate a key for that so command is ssh key gen ssh so ssh key gen it will ask you where you want to save your private file just put enter enter it will uh, save this so once this rsa file is done is formed you can find two more files here yeah so id.rsa.pub has the features which will enable ssh connection so if you vi or cat this content this is the key so what you have to do it you have to go to tomcat server you have to go under your ssh and you have to put your keys inside authorized host so authorized keys in sense like ubuntu machine in this ec2 instance will have one more key so that your machine will be able to connect with between other machines so go to last and add this value here these things you have to add okay save this file so this has been saved now try to connect now so if you type ssh it will directly connect if you want to verify okay you will verify it later let's first try to connect so this is our command to connect let it connect yeah 
so you don't see any failure here it directly got connected and you have to notice one thing right it is not asking for any password or any username you directly connected if you see the host name it shows 187 if you see the host name here it will show 187 see so guys your ssh connection has been made we have added the node into your ssh connection now in order to test the connection like your ansible will be able to ping to the server so pinging is nothing but communicating to your server so just go here and we'll try to ping the server okay now we are here uh, let's try to ping server so the command is ansible let's see if it works minus m then we are using minus m means minus module m module ping module and i have set web server in our host right so just put web server here and see if gives some output well it's not going uh, let me see where something is wrong or what it will not see because we are still in your uh, tomcat machine so if you have to exit if you exit then your ssh connection will be closed see now you are in your ansible machine now if you just write this command ansible m then probably it can show you when it will connect now this is running see this has connected to your tomcat server successfully and see this is a success and the status has been changed from ping to pong so this is your basic prototype how your ansible is connecting to your machine like tomcat server and how your result is set up so guys we have set up the primary setup for your ansible and tomcat to communicate with each other we have other modifications to be done which we will be saying it now